In Illustrator CC, uh, the latest update, January 2014, and technically it's called uh, Illustrator 17.1, and you can find out which Illustrator you have by coming up to Illustrator about Illustrator. Uh, I believe it's the same in a lot of uh, platforms. You'll see version 17.1. We have now the ability to create what are called custom tools panels. That's a way to, well, create a bunch of tools and take them and stick them into a tools panel that it can stay out in the workspace. It's an easy way to, to kind of create a tool panel that you use uh, with a lot of the, the tools that you use very often. So if I come under Window Tools, you'll see that we have now New Tools Panel. You click on that. You can give it a name. You can call it just about you know anything you want. I'll call it Drawing or whatever you want it to be. Click OK, and you'll see there's the Tools Panel. Now that's there. It lives out here, so it's going to stay. You can move it where you want. We can take it, and right by here, we can this little gripper or the title bar. You can kind of dock it if you want to do that. And stick it on the side. You can save it in the workspace if you want to do that. I'll just drag it out. But right now it's pretty much useless because there's no tools in it. So we need to add some. So what I do is just come over to the, the default tools panel and just drag. Drag on top of the plus there and add a tool. Just keep adding. You can see pen tool, you know, pencil tool, I'll select that. Whatever you want to add. And if you miss, you see like I did. There we go. Get the plus. It's sort of like arranging panels on the right over there. You got to kind of hit it right on. So I'll say the new pencil tool, drag that out. And you can also view this as two columns or single column by either double clicking or clicking that little arrow there. And this, this little guy can kind of just sit out here if you want to. So I'll just arrange it in my workspace. And if you want to, you can create more than one. So if I come under window, go to tools, you'll see there it lives right there. So this is how you open and you know get at these later on. And you'll see that we have the default, this is kind of weird, this is actually the default tools panel, the big one here. There's the one I created. We can create others and you can manage them. So if I click on Manage Tools Panel, you'll see that they're gonna list right here. It's like a lot of other things that we work with, including you know, workspaces. You can just click on it, rename it, add a new one, which is a copy based on what you have selected, or you can just delete and click OK. So I'll click Cancel right now. So you can create a bunch of these. You can save it in a workspace. So if you come up, let's say here, and you choose New Workspace, you can have that be saved in the workspace, which is great. These are saved with the actual uh, program. These aren't saved with a document that I have open. Now, there's one weird little thing here that I'm going to show you. I'm going to drag this off again. If you want to remove tools, you can drag them off, but the problem is you need to have a document open. So I'm going to open up a blank document real quick. Well, real quick being the operative word, you can do it. So I'll open up a new document. There we go. And if you want to, you can take the tool and just drag it off. And once you see the minus sign, it's gone. And that just automatically saves the panel again. You can close it, you can open it, work with it, and you've got it ready to go. Now, I, what I think is really great is if I go out, I can take it. Let me show you something here. I can actually go out and show you the preference file where this is located. If you're on a Mac, you can actually, let me show you this real quick. Don't worry, I'll show you the path in a second here. Let me just get to it. We have lots of stuff in here you're going to see that I actually have this guy right here. This little text file called Tools Panel Presets is where Illustrator is writing these little panels to. So if you look at the path here on a Mac, mind you, you're going to see it's Library, Preferences, Illustrator, whatever language you happen to have, and that little text file. So you could actually share this with people. You could delete it if you don't want to have them. You know, there's just a bunch of ways to do this. If you're on Windows, go take a look, you're going to see that the it's kind of it's a little different between depending on language, depending on different things. But you're going to see that here's the generic path to get to your preferences to get that little text file. You don't have to go there. I'm just trying to show you where it's saving these because a lot of people ask the question. I you know with all new things, it has taken me a little while to kind of get used to this. But in my own version of Illustrator, my production version, I've actually created some tool sets, and it really helps to work a little bit faster. So there you go, new feature in Illustrator. 17.1 uh, CC, working with custom tools panels.